quite a set, isn't it? So I'm thinking it's in the, the rack. This set is probably my favorite when it comes to the cattail ones that we have. We do have the picture for sure. Too hard for me to remember. <laughs> the last time we were here, uh, I did show some of these things, so of course they can still end up being here when you come months later. I don't know how many months it's been since we've been here, but I really, really think these are sweet Christmas glasses. Really nice. There's lots of Christmas in this area too. It's right across from the checkout. Vintage ornaments up there, I assume. I love these. Not a bad price, huh? Really nice shape. Isn't this gorgeous for $89.95? Look at that stopper. Oh, so gorgeous. Sorry, we're by the checkout counter. Look at this set. Oh, $475. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Hmm. <laughs> I have no room for that. Here's some Pyrex sets. It's always fun seeing the polka dot ones. I'm lucky to have a couple. I just purchased this and I don't remember what I paid for it, but $10 for this is a good price. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Yep, I don't need two of them. And I also purchased this for, it was either 12 or 14. I'm kind of thinking it was 12, the L.E. Smith Moon and Stars. Big candy dish. So, yeah, I got a real deal on it. I was pretty sure I did. I have a lot of these crazy hobbyist turkeys. This is a salt and pepper set. Good price. I found most of mine not being salt and peppers. Um, found them at the thrift stores for many, many years. I'm glad I picked them up when I did for a couple dollars or less. This is a funny set. Um, I forget, there is a name. That says Nancy Lynn's back there on those. Whoa, this is different. Fire King Cornflower Blue. They're blue. That's different. These are the SO, ESSO, Gasoline Company Tiger Collectibles. It looks like there's more of them here than when we were here last. Rare. $10, yeah, I don't remember ever seeing one with the tiger all the way around that. My sister, the tiger crazy gal, would love that. And look at this adorable setup. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Advertising mascot. Very fun. W root beer. I 
ended up with a lot of pheasant fancy glassware from my brother, including I think even two of these cocktail shakers, hazel atlas, and a lot of glassware. I was hoping to show the pheasants sometime in the fall in the kitchen, but I don't know if I'm going to get time. This is uh, quite a mall. I'm kind of surprised that it's so quiet today. There's a whole set. These are really, really nice. Plus the display box. $80. I love the glasses, but I don't really have any desire for display boxes. That's a pretty needlepoint. I really admire any needlework. That is quite a deer with a wooden head. Original. Hmm. I don't see a price. He's got wooden feet. Wow. Same with these. Wow. Collectible artist. Oh, there's an old Santa with a Coke. <laughs> Cute. 1980s. Wow, look at the fish bottles. 99.95 for the biggest one from the 60s. 59. This one with a label on it probably is what made it more expensive. I don't know. A lot of people like Scotty dogs. The black wire carrier alone is $29.95. There's so many adorable 50s tumblers here. That's unbelievable. I have one like that. I don't know. I think mine is a Santa. Maybe he just looks different. Can't remember. <laughs> Look at this set. Smoky Roman coin. As you can see, the shelves are full. Absolutely full. Really, really amazing how much glassware there is here. There is a fan going close by, so I'm sorry about that.
Norm was eyeing this really, really nice condition tin toy for twenty four ninety nine. I think the prices on some of these have come down. Yeah, I think really they've lost popularity with the younger people. Good, good price. It's it's our generation that I think is still interested so in them that because it's got all the little propellers on the front. We grew up with them, right? Yeah. yeah little drummer boy. Yeah, he's cute too. Uh, I gotta stay away from the phone every time I get up against the glass. It gets too loud. Yeah, he's really nice, Norm. Go ahead. Yeah. This is Captain 199. There's a nice country cruel picture on the floor. Always fun to see them. A couple of TV lamps way down on the floor there. The left one looks like Hager, could be, but look at that fancy showboat, that's really neat. 125, oh there's more. I've seen this deer before, 60, in browns, that's really pretty, in greens, I admire that. I wouldn't use it for a TV lamp, though, I don't think. Boy, that would need a lot of cleaning. A lot of calcium deposit on that one. And here's a mod deer. Oh, there's quite a few here, isn't there? Now that is fun for, oh, I don't know, Christmas, Halloween. 65. A ship and look at how fancy Cinderella carriage and a lighthouse. 50. Oh, lots of toys over here. Big ones up high there and look at all the farm toys. Very nice. Wow, look at this Tonka. Aerial ladder truck. Very nice. We're up on second floor. There used to be a third floor. Oh, I loved going on the third floor. I'm very sad that they closed it to make apartments. Hi. Howdy. This is an interesting enamel, heavy enamel pot coffee pot oh, 125.99 they're calling it cook king double coffee pot i've never seen anything like that would be very cool hmm wow that's huge cute hot beds huh no pot holders <laughs> Oh, just ignore me. I'll never get it right. It's a standing joke with me. This is pretty cute. It's $14.95. A really sweet hobbyist piece. Darling, darling. Huh. That is so cute. I like that. Pretty good size. Very nice. Wow, look at all this beautiful Hmong costume, beaded costume pieces. Wow, that's just so much work. Hats and belts. I think mostly hats, probably. Ah, oh, so colorful, huh? A lot of Native American pieces in here. In this area, there's lots and lots of um, toy dishes. from plastic. Oh, there's, I used to have that crazy cookie jar. Porky pig, I'm thinking. 
Yeah, just gave it to charity. I don't know. I took pictures of all the things that I purchased that were plastic for my book on plastics and lucite and vinyl. Um, so I have those memories of having them. I just can't keep everything, of course. I've got way too much now, I totally admit it. But I'm keeping a lot of the best things for not only showing and sharing with you all but it's very possible that if I decide to stop making videos Norm and I would have to go get a booth in an antique mall these are probably um, Rosbro toys candy containers I mean so there's lots of dolls in this area too, I know. Some of you really enjoy seeing dolls. That is very cute. $89.99, oh my goodness. Irwin, Irwin what? I gotta see what that says. I can't bend over far enough. This way. Mechanical doll. Oh. Wow, she's adorable. Isn't that cute? Very nice. Hmm. Well, <laughs> look at that menagerie in there. That's really fun. I don't know how to get back zoomed out again. Lots and lots of dolls. Oh my goodness, look at the games. Wow, this is the biggest stack of games I've ever seen. Oh wow, how fun. $49 for a building set? Wow, Norm likes building sets. Isn't that something? Hmm. Huh. Isn't this a cute little trash can? Oh, that's so cute. $59. <laughs> Very fun. Music is playing back here, but I had to show you this adorable little lingerie bag. It's uh, just cute, soft vinyl and lace. Isn't that cute? I think that's $9.95. This booth has lots of clothing and hats and linens. Look at the, all the linens. This is all red wing pieces up in here. But I thought this was kind of fun. Must be a covered casserole for $50. Yeah, it's a casserole with a handle on it. Mm. That's I can't believe nice. It's, wide though. Yeah, it's just amazing. Isn't that great? Good for you. Looks so good. It's, I'm uh, amazed, yeah, because prices on tin toys used to be really, really, yeah, really yeah, bad. Really. That's a fun ice bucket. <laughs> Crazy. Maybe 70s? I don't know. Maybe 60s. This area back here is just full of fancy glassware. Called that crystal room. Yeah, it sure is. I am absolutely freezing up here. I thought it was going to be so warm today. You know, we've come here um, on very warm summer days and absolutely roast upstairs here because it's a huge building and hard for them to keep it cool up on the higher floors. I like, I have this little guy, little planter, he's getting expensive. But all this milk glass is very pretty, isn't it? I just found a creamer and sugar for, I think it was a uh, $1.59 for the set or some crazy price or two fifty nine. I don't know. 
and it said set. And when she checked this out, she charged each piece that much. But it's a darling set, and oh, the music just came on, so I better, better be quiet. Wow, this is really a big compote in your beautiful Bittersweet by Ellie Smith. They don't have it identified as that, but that's what it is. Um, $32.50. Pretty, pretty reasonable price, I suppose. Isn't this the prettiest blue? Four, four glasses. One, two, three, four, five, six sherbets. Imperial. I have to talk quick over this music. We're back in the room where the music is the loudest, but I could probably get by if I'm yakking. Twelve ninety-five for that, and I do have it. It's a nice one. These are fun. Twenty-four fifty. I wonder if they're not old. I'm sure they are. Look at U.S. Norm. Twenty-four fifty. Oops, a lot of glare there. Yeah, I've seen those. They're kind of uh, looking good no. shape. Not probably not no. Nineteen sixties lantern, a hundred and thirty-five dollars. Yikes! Wow. I'm still near the music, but I'm also near a big fan. Sorry about that. Um, just wanted to show you some of the things over here, especially the fact that there's so many hats. Lots and lots and lots of hats. It's kind of fun looking at them, but. Yeah, I mean, where do you see the stand? Look at that one with the stars and stripes. <laughs> with the flowers on them, aren't they fun? Oh, this one. That is nuts. What a fruity hat. Maybe too fifty. I'm not so sure that came on it. Unless you get hungry, I you don't grab a. I like this one. I like this one. That goes with my bedroom. I remember these in my time. Straw. Did we come through here? Look at, these are just so expensive, aren't they? What is that? Um, $78. It's a really big one that I would, I guess that's a mixing bowl. I got a huge fan over here, and I'm afraid I'm going to get sucked into it and get yeah. thrown up and spit oh, out the other side. It is terrible. I guess we didn't go down this aisle yet. See, I just found this at the thrift store, Norm, and I always question myself when I pick up a piece of glass like that and it's just ribbed, and it was so cheap, and look at, see, they won $14 for it. Mm. And I just found it this past summer when I was looking for blue glass, at the Goodwill. I'm sure it was very, very cheap. Uh, I was headed down this way because I saw some fun things. Kind of looks like there might be something fun. I love those checked mugs. Here's a really fun set of um, China. Course, romance then. of the Stars, it's called, but it says Atomic Romance of the Stars? No, I think it's just called Romance of the Stars. It is fine China, made in USA. Isn't that fun? Wow. I like, I like the fact that it's in black and white. That is really nice. Yeah. And I'll uh, grab your Layla here, and that looks like a picture there. This looks like a little different 1960? Shape. Oh, she does have a date on it right there in the corner. 1960. Yeah. Well, I guess that makes sense then. Yeah. Certainly. No, no. No, no. I'm happy with. I don't know. My, nice. my Corel. Vintage Corel that looks like Pyrex. I like that. We're not entertaining. 
fancy meals anymore. Do any of you collect those? Uh, Rudolph, little vinyl, vinyl and felt animals. I think they were made for Christmas. Twenty-two fifty is probably the going rate. Pretty cute. I think I just found this Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus cream and sugar. And I can't tell you if I found it at a thrift store or I decided to get it at an antique mall. I don't know. I don't typically buy things like that at antique malls because I'm usually just happy with what I find for decorations at the thrift stores. So I may have very well found it at the Goodwill. I'd have to go back and look at my records, but I thought it was a very cute set. And I don't recall. Avon, yep, 1983. These guys are always funny, aren't they? Yeah, pretty cute. I don't know anything about them. Is that Popo G. Joe? I don't know. Did you ever hear of him? 70s. What does that say? Cheerleader. Yeah, I don't know. First National Bank and Trust. Hmm. Lots and lots of Royal Copley in this booth, too. Lots of it. I'm not really attracted to much of their things. Not even the adorable kitty. But I just thrifted a Royal Copley black cat with the pink bow for five dollars minus my senior 25% discount at Family Pathways just this week. Couldn't believe my eyes. Uh, and that I like, black cat with a pink bow. This one is cute. The rooster one with corn. That's pretty cute. I've always liked this salt and pepper set. I guess it's a designer name. Not identified right there, but I'm sure a lot of you have seen it before. I like that. Norm spotted this again. The last time we were here, he spotted it, or I showed it to him, but I decided against it. It's it's cool. I like it. How much is it? Twenty four ninety five. But it's, yeah, I mean that's it's the, the red. It's it's not the greatest condition actually. You'd have to put. Uh, I use a pledge furniture wipe or the generic furniture lemon wipes. And it actually polishes up the paint. Really? Yeah, it does. Okay. And it doesn't smear the glass. Okay. Because I've polished my glass top tables with the lemon furniture wipes and it's amazing. You don't get you yeah. don't get a smearing. I see they have a couple of the tall I've ended up with more of these now, so I got plenty. 650 is very reasonable for those very tall um, Tom Collins or whatever. They look like they're in good shape. Yeah, that's a good price. Isn't this pretty? Yeah, small picture. Made in Italy. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. So colorful, yeah. 
Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Very attractive. I have the Hall strawberry pieces. No mugs, but I do have canister set and the teapot. Well, this is a surprise. I showed Norm in our Wells, Minnesota, Midwest, um, Antiques of the Midwest video that we just did way out in the cornfields. I think she wanted $12 for one just like this. $13.95. And I told Norm I kind of regretted not getting it. It does have blue jean look in it, but turn it around this side. It's the same, huh? It is very fun. I still keep debating. It's because of the blue in it. I just don't really add. A lot of blue in it, actually. Yeah, another color. If it was in my colors, I'd probably be nuts over it. It is very, very cute. Yeah. It's cute for Easter, to tell you the truth, but. It's thermo, thermo, thermo serve. Thermo serve, yeah. yeah. It's funny, I didn't see it sitting there. It was looking. Looking over here. Got all excited when you walked by and seen it. Well, I saw one up front that is black and white check, and that's also very reasonable. I was considering the black and white check one, but I don't know. I have a hard time if things don't like really, really thrill me. It is cute because of the mushrooms. One mushroom there, but kind of summery in a way, you know? Just wanted to show you the top of this chrome set. Have you ever seen one with this design on it? I don't think it's for sale. I think it's, you know, it's being used back here for people to sit down and look at books. That's what this is, a book nook. Nice on it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's just for needs a good polish. Display, yeah, I'll say. But I don't think I've ever seen that design before. You know that's what ours is, Norm? Yeah. It's marble, only in beige. Yeah. Our top of ours, but no designs. Sorry, we're still by the fan. It's very loud. Um, we were here last, probably last September too, because we we're looking at Halloween stuff. Look at how empty that is. It was vintage. So there's not a whole lot left, but these are fun. $47. Wow. It's too bad that um, sticker's right over her face. Look at all the noisemakers in there. Oh, look at these, Norm. Oh, I've seen those. Little rings. Hmm. Vintage postcards, I assume. This one's been here forever. Of course, a seven hundred and ninety-five dollar they want for it. I've seen these before for oh, a third of the price or more, less even. 
It's nice. I'd like to have it, but not at that price. So it's going to be here probably for the end of times. Cool. Nice big plastic display. Yep. This is all red wing pottery in this case. Very colorful. Yeah. I know the music is playing again, but um, we'll see what happens here. I wanted to show you. It's just row after row of glassware. I have shown it in another previous video, so um, take a look at that other one that we did a year ago because you'll get to see a lot of the same glassware. This end wall is always so colorful with all the yellows and oranges. I just love like these. Don't you, Norm? Yeah, they're nice. And and this set is so sweet. Look at this Hager vase up here, the texture on it. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? And this one? Mm -hmm. They're cool when you put them together. It's a good thing I wasn't here before the 4th of July. This one's upside down because it's got a little shot glass on top. I found this one, so it was in my kitchen display, but I didn't realize there was this one too with the red band on top. Return to the moon. So 
they have lots of them. Even roly poly looking ones. Yeah, it's really cute. Hazel Atlas, I believe. Look at they even have a juice pitcher. Wow. Nice. I told Norm that I really, really would love to own this. I've never seen it. It says, God bless America. And I only have one beautiful glass that says, God bless America. This is really bold um, with the flag and the eagle. I think it's just gorgeous. I know it's very expensive, but I've never seen it before. I may never see it again. In all the glassware that there is in this place, they didn't have anything like that. He was looking at that back there. The fire chief's car. Isn't that neat? And the door opens up and there's the fire chief's helmet inside. And there's... Oh, uh, do you want to open the door? Yeah, his... Uh, looks like his... Maybe a... Oh, his suit? Jacket. It's yellow. Yeah, but it's missing the... Uh, uh, probably a siren up on the roof. Sorry, I'm looking myself, so yeah, my camera right. gets off. <laughs> yeah, the siren's missing off the roof. Oh. And the antenna's broken, so. Oh. Forty-nine dollars, but. That's too bad. It needs a siren. Danbury Mint. Yeah, they make oh, nice Danbury stuff, but it's Mint. very fragile stuff. Is it? Mm. Yeah. So. Okay. That'd be cool. I would. If it had everything on it, I'd probably get it. But well, we'll take this home. Mm, it's beautiful glass. Yeah, they had a little patriotic theme still going on in here. I will pay for that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, um, yeah. Thanks. This is really gorgeous pottery, isn't it? Sure. Oh, is that a quite a display? It's all by Hull. H-U-L. Yeah, look at the Hull display. Sorry about the glare from the lights above, but it's just amazing the collection. These are really fun too. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so hungry, it hurts. What time is that, Norm? What time what time is it? It's uh 132. And I really didn't have much for breakfast, so... Your stomach's growling? Oh, not really, but it hurts. I shop out the mall here. Oh.